All right, Detroit Pistons uh, are getting multiple players back off the COVID uh, injury injury reserve list. So that's the NBA. They're getting multiple players back off the COVID list, uh, everybody besides Isaiah uh, Stewart. And we're seeing a resurge of players that we haven't seen in the NBA in quite some time. I think Lance Stevenson came back through. uh, Darren Collison came out of retirement. You got a lot of guys that we ain't seen in the league coming back in the league. Because, you know, the COVID numbers are starting to surge. And, you know, the Pistons are already, you know, glad that they broke that, what was it, like 16, 17, 14, 15 game losing streak. It was good to see them break that losing streak uh, because it really could have continued to extend. But they still on on pace to still be sub um, uh, 20. So right now they five and twenty eight. They play the Spurs at seven p.m. Okay, and um, <clears throat> and right now it just ain't looking good. And we talked about Trey Weavers possibly being on the hot seat, and I gave him a pass because <clears throat> you know really the biggest issue with this team is lack of veterans, which he can play a hand 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 in. But also the biggest thing too is that the coach is the coach. I don't like his philosophy. Philosophy is trash. So, but it says Pistons can see multiple players returning from the COVID uh, from COVID shutdowns. It says after ten days of dealing with multiple players in the health and safety protocol, Pistons could be getting some of their players back. Seven of their eight players who had been out <clears throat> have had their designation changed to return to competition conditioning on the injury report. Kay Cunningham, the first player to go into protocol, looks to be working his way back to the lineup along. With Killian Hayes, Josh Jackson, Corey Joseph, Saving Lee, Trey Lyles, and Riley Magruder. According to the injury report, Isaiah Stewart still remains in health and safety protocol. The Pistons faced the San Antonio Spurs at Little Caesars Arena on Saturday night, and the team has been playing shorthanded for about the past 10 days, including signing eight G League players to the 10 day contract to try to augment the roster. Additionally, the Pistons have been without Jeremy Grant, who has thumb surgery, Kelly Olynyk, who's recovered from a knee sprain, Frank Jackson who suffered a sprained ankle in Wednesday night's game. So basically they got a whole new team. And that's why you have a lot, you know, that's why you have, you know, players and and aficionados and media members and fans calling for a shutdown. Okay. Um, um, I mean, I was, you know, but money, money talks. And people talking about, we'll shut down the economy again. The economy cannot uh, survive another shutdown. So that's not a Biden, that's not a, a, a Trump thing. There's a fact that they can't afford another shutdown. You know, and they can't afford, you know, people who have, uh, have essential needs, they can't afford that no more. And what actually, what actually should have been happening is that they should have been training people who they should have been, you know, having people who had degrees get on a fast track program for these essential workers, bro. For these essential jobs, for nurses, you know, if you got a bachelor's degree, you get into accelerated nursing program. They should, the government should have been pouring money into them to get the nurses time to kind of train people and get a break, kind of like what the plant do with, with you know, summer workers. That's what they should have been doing. You know what I'm saying? Because these these CNAs and these nurses, RNs and LPNs, they they need a break. They need a break because this this is far from over. Even though we thought we got over it, it's far from over. It's gonna be here to be around. And these players probably need a break from traveling. And they might have to alter the schedule where you know they play they play in sections. You know, with Minnesota, Milwaukee, Detroit, Chicago. Um, who right there, uh, they play against each other. Indiana, they play, they play, you know, I don't know, man. I don't get paid to kind of think for their issues. But, I mean, teams literally playing with nobody. And you got false positives and you got the antibodies that's causing people to be positive And it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But the players got to get paid too. A lot of them living paycheck to paycheck. A lot, I think, is an understatement. So people got to understand. You know, 
The economy can't survive another shutdown. You know, the way y'all, you know, the unemployment, you know, the way I make unemployment, the way y'all make this little stimulus stretch is crazy. Then y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to go to work. And then people on welfare don't want to go to work to begin with. So who going to work? You know, some of y'all rather be homeless and get up there and do something and bust a move or just, or just shack up with y'all family members. But like I said before, can't survive it. Cause you know, that's why, that's why, you know, people don't get nothing away to, to the poor because people abuse it. And it messes up for the people who use it the right way and keep it moving, but can't survive it. And the NBA can't survive a shutdown. Now, NFL is the only one that can survive it because they literally, they literally could take the state of Texas. They literally have several air, they have several arenas in the state of Texas they can play football in. And then if you want to, if you want to roll over to Arizona. You know, you got several areas. You got the, they still got the Astro Dome up, Jerry World. You know what I'm saying? Texas got a state, University of Texas got a stadium. Texas ain't now got a football stadium. You know what I'm saying? You got thousand universities there. SMU got a stadium, I believe. <laughs> you know, Arizona Cardinals got a state, air stadium, Arizona State, Arizona. You know what I'm saying? The Texans got an air, got a stadium. They got a few stadiums inside the NRG. They got a you know, small arena. So NFL literally can do a grand state of mid, uh, Texas bubble if they wanted to. They literally can. But the NBA, uh-uh. The bubble ratings are so terrible they can't. The NBA ratings in general is terrible that they can't. Think about that for a minute. I don't even like watching basketball right now. And it's been like that for a while. And that was my sport. But it's, it's that atrocious. But, and it's not just because the Pistons has been like that. But like I said before, they get some guys back, but they got to, obviously, they're in the condition Injury list, they got to get in condition, and you don't get guys in proper condition and passing. That's what they had conditioning tests in football. You don't get them in proper conditioning, then that's when you had those soft tissue injuries, them hamstrings, them blown out ACLs, and broken ankles, high sprains, you know, all types of stuff. So, you know, and COVID attacks your respiratory system and then attacks your conditioning. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Check the Detroit Pistons talk playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Glad these dudes cleared health protocol and able to provide for their families and get back on the court and try to win some more games. Hopefully Isaiah Stewart bounce back even quicker than the dribble and able to get in a great condition. Check out Detroit Pistons talk playlist. If you want to uh, follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, links in the description. You can reach out if you want to chop it up. Video request going through something you can talk. I'm available. I got you. Um, or you got you know want to uh, advertise a sponsor on the video. Best way to donate: thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, appreciate the love and support. Uh, best way to donate: thumbs up, share the video, subscribe all that stuff. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Until next time, peace. All right, I want you guys to go uh, support Piston Mike. Y'all go hit the subscribe button. He at 480 right now. Let's get him to a thousand, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, million subscribers as soon as possible. Bid. Let's help him put it down. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. If you like the Pistons, you want to support me, think about sending me a donation. The uh, best way you can help me right now is go subscribe over to Piston Mike and go uh, help him get his numbers up, putting in work, hard work, smart work, dedicated work, consistent work. So make sure you go over there and appreciate that work. So remember, the name is Piston Mike, and I have a link in the description. If you have a problem uh, finding it on YouTube, it'll be under source link or Piston Mike channel link in the description. Peace.